All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do 7.6i. I want you all to solve these problems exactly the same way you see me solve them. As always, we begin with our rules. We always follow the rules. All right, I'm gonna read the entire word problem, the specific question, and the answer options. Elise has two bags of marbles. The first bag contains six red marbles, five blue marbles, and four green marbles. The second bag contains three red marbles, two blue marbles, and four green marbles. Elise will randomly select one marble from each bag. What is the probability that Elise will select a blue marble from each bag? A, five ninths, B, one thirteenth, C, two fifteenths, or D, two twenty sevenths. So we read the entire word problem, the question and the answer options, we'll slash off the R. Next, we underline the specific question. What is the probability that Elise will select a blue marble from each bag? All right, we'll slash off the U. Now for labeling and annotating the L, we're gonna circle all numbers and box all key words and key terms. So she has two bags of marbles the first bag, okay, so bag one contains six red, okay, six red, five blue, and four green, all right? The second bag, box the second, contains three red, two blue, and four green. Elise will randomly select one marble from each bag. What is the probability that Elise will select a blue marble from each bag? Okay, so we're, our P, our outcome that we're looking for is blue. Okay, we're looking for blue. We have to put it as a part over a whole. Okay, now, there's two bags, okay, so we have two bags, okay, bag one, six red marbles, five blue marbles, and four green marbles, okay? So the total amount of marbles, and we'll call this one right here bag one, let me make sure that y'all can see this, okay? So we'll call this one right here bag one, bag two, we're going to label those, all right? So... Bag one has six red, five blue, four green, okay? So six, five, four, okay? Now it says that we're looking for the blue marbles to be selected. So how many blue are there? There's five blue, okay? So there's five blue, okay? Now let's add these all up. Six plus five is 11, plus four is 15. Okay, so it's 15 total, five of them are blue. Let's look at bag two. Bag two has three red, two blue, and then four green. Okay, so three plus two would be five, plus four would be nine. So we have three, two, four. This adds up to be nine. Okay, now how many are blue? Two of them are blue. So these two are blue, okay? Probability, the keyword probability means the chance or the odds. We'll select a blue, the probability of blue from each bag. Now, as I wrote already, we have the part over a whole. Now, each is key information because each, ladies and gentlemen, means to multiply, okay? Whenever we see the word each, that means multiply. So what are we going to multiply? We're going to multiply 5 out of 15 by 2 out of 9. Okay? So let me write that right here. 5 blue out of 15 multiplied by 2 blue out of 9. Okay? So let's write this right here. 5 out of 15 times 2 out of 9. Okay? Now, 5 out of 15 can be simplified. Okay? We have 1 times 5, okay, and then 15 
is the same thing as three times five, okay? So 15 is three times five, and then five is one times five. So what cancels out? The two fives cancel out, and five over 15 can be simplified as one over three, okay? One over three, all right? So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to multiply one third by two over nine. Okay? So one times two is two, and then three times nine is 27. Okay? So we've labeled and annotated. Our evaluation process was part over a whole. We did that twice. Part of a whole, we have to do that twice because there's two bags. The probability of finding a blue marble out of 15 is 5 out of 15. The probability of finding a blue marble out of bag 2 is 2 out of 9. So we did 2 out of 9 multiplied by 5 out of 15. But 5 out of 15 can be reduced to 1 out of 3. So 2 over 9 times 1 over 3 is 2 times 1, which is 2. 9 times 3, which is 27. So now after we evaluate, we've selected our correct answer. The answer is D. So it's not correct. That's not right. That's not right. Okay? The answer is D. I want you all to solve this problem the exact same way y'all saw me solve it. All right? Thank you all for watching. I hope this makes sense. Watch this video over and over again until, until it makes sense to you. Thank you.